all know what happened, but uh, the oh president of the United States um, picked a fight with you on Twitter. Randomly. Um, yeah. If you don't look closely, it's easy to like Chrissy Teigen. She's beautiful, she's famous, she's got adorable photos, she's a mom and a wife, and she seems so cute and funny. However, there's more to the model than meets the eye. There's a few skeletons lurking in that gorgeous closet. And now fans are wondering whether Chrissy was ever a nice person. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fame Channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's talk about Chrissy Teigen and why did her past come back to haunt her? The drama started in 2021 when Chrissy's old tweets surfaced, revealing some super dark secrets. People started to speculate that the model is no good because she was stalking and insulting so many celebs. From Farrah Abraham to Courtney Stodden, moreover, she made fun of a baby and even slammed a nine-year-old. You may know that Farrah Abraham was the first to be hit by Chrissy's attacks. It was the loudest scandal and the entire internet was absolutely shocked when in 2013, Chrissy Teigen took to Twitter to slam teen mom star Farrah Abraham for trying to get the media to believe she got pregnant after filming a sex tape. The model tweeted, you're a whore and everyone hates you. Of course, Chrissy was called out by her fans, but she stood by her words. After this situation, another girl confessed that Chrissy treated her even worse. Courtney Stodden revealed that she received so much hate when she married 51-year-old Doug Hutchinson in 2011 and the relationship was abusive. Instead of showing support to a young woman, Chrissy decided to make things even worse. Courtney Stodden said, she wouldn't just publicly tweet about wanting me to take a dirt nap but would privately DM me to tell me to kill myself. Things like, I can't wait for you to die. But Courtney didn't act like a victim and threw a bombshell on Chrissy as well, saying when I initially saw Chrissy Teigen make these comments, I could tell she was a desperate music video groupie and model. At the time, I just thought it was only with me and I ignored her because I don't behave like that. But to the entire internet surprise, Chrissy took on Twitter to apologize. Not a lot of people are lucky to be held accountable for their past bullshit in front of the entire world. I'm mortified and sad at who I used to be. I was an insecure, attention-seeking troll. I am ashamed and completely embarrassed at my behavior, but that is nothing compared to how I made Courtney feel. I have worked so hard to give you guys joy and be beloved, and the feeling of letting you down is nearly unbearable. Truly. These are not my only mistakes, and they won't be my last as hard as I try but good. I will try. As if, because this story gets even more shocking because there's a long line of hidden victims yet to speak out. Like kids. The same 2011, and the model took to Twitter to instigate a feud with comedian and actor Jay Moore over the name of his baby boy. Nikki Cox and Jay Moore named their son Meredith. Their son Meredith. Meredith is their son's name. The name of their son is Meredith, she tweeted. Of course, Jay Moore didn't like that tweet and fired back saying, take your skank ass somewhere where guys like sixes in bikinis. But Chrissy didn't stop there. When a nine-year-old, Quavangela Wallace, was absolutely adorable at the 2013 Oscars, Chrissy went on Twitter saying, it's okay to call a small child cocky. I am forced to like Quavangela Wallace because she's a child, right? Okay, fine. It seems that the troll could not be stopped until the fans decided to turn the tables. Fans connected Jeffrey Epstein to Chrissy by sharing screenshots of Epstein Stein's flight logs to the island where he allegedly took young children. And after this, Chrissy took to Twitter, again, speaking of people trying to bring her down. And she's even claimed that she deleted 60,000 tweets because she was afraid of trolls. Yep, troll was afraid of trolls. She tweeted, I actually deleted 60,000 tweets because I cannot fucking stand you idiots anymore. I'm worried about my family. Finding me talking about toddlers and tiaras in 2013 and thinking you're some sort of fuck operative. You think I'm guilty because I'm defensive. You understand you're linking me to Jeffrey Epstein, correct? Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on the most interesting info about celebs.